So here is question number 11, which is a question on the logarithm. It says if 3 log a to the base 10 plus log b also in base 10 equals 2, we are asked to express a in terms of b. All right. Let us apply some laws of logarithm here. You know, uh, uh, we solved another question previously. If you have any constant multiplying your log, that constant can serve as the power of that number which you are taking log of. In this case, we have a. So this can be written as log a power 3 base 10. This one remains the same. We have log b base 10. This is equal to 2. But to solve this question perfectly, we have to transform each term in log form. But this is a constant. How can we transform it into log form? We can attach log 10 to the base 10. Because I told you, log of any number having the same base as that number is the same thing as 1. So 1 times 2 is still 2. All right. Let us apply another law of logarithm that says if you have addition in between two logs, you are free to take one log and multiply the numbers together. This is what I mean. If you have log A plus log B, you are free to say log of A multiplied by B. You can assign them a single log and multiply them if the relationship between them is addition. So we can equally do the same here. We can say log to the base 10 of we have a power 3 multiplied by b. And to the right, we can apply that law that says if you have any constant multiplying your log, that constant can serve as power of your number. So here we have log base 10 of 10 power 2. Okay, from left to right we have common logs so they can cancel out, leaving only these times. This is a power 3 multiplied by b to be equal to 100 because 10 power 2 is 100 is the same thing as saying 10 times 10. What we are asked to do is to express A in terms of B, meaning we should make A the subject. So we can divide both sides by B, divide both sides by B such that this B cancel this B, leaving only A power 3 equals 100 over B. Still, this is a power 3, but we are only interested in knowing only uh, a. So, by taking cube root, if you assign cube root to a power 3, that cube root will cancel the power. So, we can take the cube root of both sides because whenever you have an equation, whatever you do to the left hand side, you have to do it to the right hand side to make the equation balance. So we have cube root of a power 3, the same thing as cube root of 100 over b. This will cancel this, leaving only a finally equals the cube root of 100 divided by b. This is cube root. So lastly, this is our answer. And I think is the option C here. Let us now look on to question number 12.